joins us in the studio. Good evening, Mr. Wenda, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, Philippe Kama has been released. Where to from now? Yes, Philip Kama released five days ago, and he's, uh, after he's come out and he said he's continued to fight for liberate his people. That's his commitment from the beginning. So that's why yeah, he's already committed. Now, what's the reason for your visit to South Africa now? Uh, my visit to South Africa, I, uh, six months ago, I, uh, early this year, I was visited and I was welcomed by all South African people. So uh, after that, I get back, went back to uh, UK and then traveled to the Pacific. Mm -hmm. And I brought the good message to, to people of West Papua and uh, also across the Pacific. And they gained confidence. That's why South Africa is very important for me to come back because they also... Um, uh, 21 years ago, uh, they fight for the, the you know, anti-apartheid movement. That's a, a very good spirit to seeking uh, help and come back to South Africa. You mentioned that it's been five days since uh, Philippe Kama's release. Have you been able to sit down with him and have a chat with him with regards to what you're doing and working together? Uh, in fact, at my visit, uh, they follow everything. And then last two days ago in the night, I already make phone call. And then he said, this is give inf inspiration. And I you know, spoke with him. And then he said, we will continue to fight. And so he's really committed. Yeah. You met with Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. How was your meeting? Uh, yes, uh, after I came here last uh, few months ago and then he blessed and then that blessed because he's called uh, Renew, UN Review campaign, he called uh, la uh, 2004 and then he renewed his call for UN Review campaign. So then um, after I came back and he blessed and uh, today after I met and he said, your, your fight is my prayer. So that's uh, meant to, to us for, for West Papua and myself. So yeah, it's, that's why. <laughs> Earlier you mentioned the fact that you have been in South Africa, you had been in South Africa about six months ago, and uh, you took home the message that, uh, you know, the people of Papua have support and uh, the struggle continues. Now, what has been, um, have you had any assistance from South Africa, one, and two, from the United Nations? Um, yes. <coughs> when I b went back to uh, Pacific and also brought the message, people are gained confident. Last 50 years, nobody hear their voice. So when I came here, and then that's uh, also give confidence. And I, I meeting with few uh, leaders and also some local people and NGO and also some other uh, lawyers. And there is a lot of advice and that give confidence. But this moment for the United Nations level, because you went directly to involve uh, what happened in 1969, so-called referendum, but we call West Papua call it uh, uh, no uh, act of no choice. Um, so uh, UN level is not really uh, looking that issue, but regionally uh, uh, there is a few country in the regionally, uh, Vanuatu, Solomon Island, Tonga. They raised the issue. Uh, last month uh, in the UN, so that's already they already knows that something uh, will happen, and that's why I'm coming back to South Africa to seeking support, um, uh, EU level, uh, uh, African Union level. That's because that's very important for for me. Now you mentioned regionally you are getting a bit of support from there, but what about uh, the rest of the world globally? Is there anyone coming out? Any of the big powers coming out in support of Papua? Uh, big power like uh, you know Britain, the U.S. and um, is indirectly already involved for, for violated our right to self-determination. They're a little bit uh, ignorant, but uh, people are finding out. That's why uh, in in the region, for example, in in the Pacific, like Australia, uh, in New Zealand, ordinary people are, are more support, and that's why uh, it's, this issue never go away because this is unbusiness finished by, by United Nations and. The UN uh, respect the international law, but they break their, their own rule. So hopefully uh, other country will find out and bring this issue to, to back to the United Nations. Now, Mr. Wenda, let's talk about the issue of uh, regional countries um, that are so far on your side, as uh, on the side of Indonesia rather. Do they still argue that 
you belong to Indonesia. What's the situation and what's the stance there? The, there is almost now uh, across the Pacific, uh, Pacific made up of the Micronesia, Polynesia, Melanesia, and that, that Melanesia uh, finding out this is their own brother treated differently because of, because of Indonesia uh, rule in West Papua 54 years. They don't know what's going on, what's happening because we are different colony. But now they're finding out and ordinary people are really supportive and government cannot escape because the people power pushing. So uh, if, if, even there's international level, Indonesia trying to lobby, is they don't have any argument to hold on West Papua, but now trying to lobby different way but uh, under international law, we are a strong case. So that's we really, really confident. When you say they're trying to lobby in different ways, what sort of ways are they trying to use? Uh, they already lost a legal argument and political argument. They're only using uh, economy uh, diplomacy. That's what they're doing. That's uh, the last weapon they got. But the law is our side. So no one deny. That's why we really give us confidence. And that's why all the rest of the world are finding out what happened in 1969, so-called referendum. And this is why Indonesia really uh, trying to stop it. Uh, for example, my movement around the world, and even they're trying to ban me. But it's something that I believe that every human being should be free. And that's why it's one day will happen. Now, how serious are human rights abuses as we speak in Papua? As we speak, it's still continue to killing. Since 1963, uh, Indonesia invaded West Papua. 500,000 women and men and children has been killed until today. The Indonesia getaway, able to ban the journalists, uh, all the media, Amnesty International, rescuers of the total Liban. Recently, last Monday, allowed, but this on the paper. But close off and human rights violation is still continue. There is a two months ago two young boy, two young 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 boy were killed and unarmed. Just they're walking on the street. This is happening right now. But how can you just tell us how has Indonesia managed to sort of close off Papua from the rest of the world? What has been happening? Yeah, this is Indonesia, the other hand, they so-called, uh, they, they, they're trying to promote democracy. But I think the rest of other islands, yes, of course, they promote democracy. West Papua, is a, they look at that West Papua as a colony. So they look at that treated West Papua differently because we geographically, culturally, identically, uh, also West Papua are very different color. That's why they treat differently. That, that's why 20 years time my people will wipe out. That's, that's why before that. I don't want to repeat that history like what happened Aboriginal Australia, what is the American Indian, what happening. That's why it is, this is the international issue. It's not a regional issue anymore. This is not Indonesia internal issue anymore. This is international involved. It should be get out by, facilitated by international. That's the, my campaign. Now, Mr. Wender, before we, we, we close off, uh, you mentioned there just a few minutes ago that two young boys about two months ago were killed on the street and it was just a random thing. Um, you know, you, and you, you, the impression is that this is a, a regular occurrence and nothing is being done about it. it. What's the situation there? Indonesia get away in, with impunity. 8th of December last year, uh, four, pe four uh, boys were killed high school students were killed too in Nabire and the Indonesia always get away with impunity and this is the that's why they close over media and they don't want uh, international communities to know and finding out about West Papua. Mr. Wenda thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.